we were told even when we started dental school, there was always on the horizon of regrowing teeth, of growing teeth, and it never materialized. But one day it may materialize, and this may be the day. I flew all the way to Japan to find the only drug in the world that can regrow your teeth. A company claims it has developed a method for regrowing teeth in human beings. And actually, they are now doing clinical trials in Japan, in Kyoto University Hospital. They've already done it in mice, and now they're doing it in human beings. They've got, I believe, 30 subjects, and they are going to see how it works. It involves an injection. There is a protein, USAG1. This protein is in your body and it regulates tooth growth and prevents teeth from growing once you have all of your teeth in. These three doctors discovered something life-changing. They discovered a protein in our bodies called USAG1. This protein basically prevents your body from growing teeth. But then they realized that if you can block this protein, something amazing happens. New teeth will grow in your mouth in the exact place you lost your old tooth. They have found by blocking this chemical or this protein that it then allows the body to grow teeth or regrow teeth. Theoretically, teeth will grow to fill that gap or those gaps where the missing teeth are. And theoretically, those teeth will duplicate the teeth that were there and that were lost. Now, do I have reservations or doubts? Well, of course. We were told even when we started dental school, there was always on the horizon of regrowing teeth, of growing teeth, and it never materialized. But one day it may materialize, and this may be the day. So they're hoping to have this actually available on the market by 2030, uh, which would be very interesting. And I'm not saying it's impossible. It doesn't seem terribly likely, but on the other hand, these days, all things are possible. And perhaps in 2030, one will be able to get an injection and have all their missing teeth filled in by nature, or at least by their own bodies. I'm looking forward to the future to see how this really does play out and we'll keep you posted on clinical trials or any new information on this subject because it is really quite fascinating. But it's better, of course, if you don't lose your teeth in the first place. So make sure your mouth is healthy and your gums are healthy because as I've said many times, if your gums aren't healthy and your mouth isn't healthy, you simply cannot be as healthy as you could be. So we'd love to hear from you. Questions, comments, at any rate, have a good day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.